the aeration blowers are providing air for these activated sludge basins. This is one basin, and then across the way is an, another basin. This is the Marsalis plant, and uh, I, I just wanted to thank you for buying our blowers and uh, ask you a couple questions about the blowers. When uh, you got the first two blowers in place, uh, what were they replacing? Uh, roots. Okay. PD blowers. Do you still have the roots PD blowers over there anymore? In, uh, in a scrap pile. In a scrap pile. Okay. All right. And and how did the two compare? Like when you got the new blowers in? We uh, these ones are definitely a lot quieter. Okay. And uh, you know they haven't been in that long, so maintenance wise, we're not. 100% sure, but it sounds like they're going to be a lot better. Right, okay. The uh, the PD blowers, I mean, they're not really, they shouldn't be thought of as throwaways, you know? They that, should last a good long time. That's what everybody's told me, though. Okay. So here's the, uh, this, the, the digester room, or digester blower room. Yep. Just run one blower at a time, I guess, right? Yep. And it's it's this one that's yeah. oh, this one. oh okay. Can't even tell. It's so quiet you can't even tell. <laughs> <laughs> There's a commercial right there. Yeah. Here we are having a conversation, so very quiet. 30 horsepower blowers. And there's the digester building right there. And it's right around the corner from the high school for the village of Marcellus. So this is your laboratory right here, right? Yep. Um, so uh, you used to have, uh, what did you used to have in the room right next door where the blowers Hoffman's are now? Hoffman's centrifugals. Hoffman's centrifugals. Um, what was the noise level in the room like when you had the Hoffman centrifugals? It was a little louder, not, yeah. not a lot. Okay. But the difference between the PD blowers and these ones is there's no comparison. Okay. All right. Well, let's take a look in here. This is the control that runs them. Okay. The DO probe. This is from the DO probe out in the tanks. Right. And this controls the VFDs. Okay. On DO, you don't even have to. The blowers will adjust up and down. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's I can really hear. Nice. I can hear the, the the rotation going up and down like that. So. It saves energy. Absolutely. That's the big thing. Yep. There was three centrifugals here before, right. so we had to we had to make it work in here. We wanted to keep the 60 horsepower for a backup. Okay. So we kept. That's why there, there was like there was right. two more beside it. Okay. Now uh, the two that you have right now, they're handling the load right yes. uh, right now. Is, are they both running yes. to handle the load? Yes. Okay. And this is sort of like a common spare at this point. Yes. This is, this is, uh, is it like twice the flow of the both of those? Yes. You said this is a yes, 60 horsepower? Okay. All right. Have you ever had to run this? No. 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 Okay. No. It'd be nice. It would have been nice to put three, and then you'd have one spare. Right. Just because it's the main air for the plant. Sure. So they didn't have the money to replace this one, so they did. Right. And it looks like uh, at this point you could even, like, if it ever came down to replacing that, you could replace it with a couple more of those, or yes. maybe one that's twice the size. Uh, the next construction project is already, they've already talked about this one gone, and I'm wondering if they'll do the handle. Okay, all right. Well, great. 
So how long have these, these haven't been in service uh, for very long, have no, they? Month, two months. Okay, months. all right. But, uh, so as far as service history or whatever, really nothing to compare it no, to. No, not yet. But as far as the sound goes, yeah. yeah. I sort of remember being in here previously, and even though you had the sound, barrier. sound barriers and all that, it still uh, was still quite loud. So, well, and I think in service them it's going to be a lot easier. You don't have to grease, you know, all the. It, it'll be a lot easier. I think. Right, right. So, had uh, you been trained on this whole thing as far as like how to change the oil and all that? There isn't much training to do. It's so simple. Right. Really. I mean, they showed us when they filled it up and what to do, but when you change the oil in the other one, it's not rocket science. They just put the hose on there and it comes Right. It out. Let it drain and off you go. Yeah. How about pretty that? Pretty simple. Have you had to change the filters yet? No. And so you got you got that maintenance indicator over yeah. there. It'll tell you when to do it. So well, good. You say you're a satisfied customer? Oh yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Can't believe the difference. Is that good. right? Yeah. Who who's uh, who's come down here? The highway uh, guys from the highway department. They've been down here. Okay. Some of my friends that have been down here before. Salesmen that have been down here. Oh really? Yeah. Just different people. Salesmen from? Uh, ones uh, for water meters. Oh okay. Stuff like that. Not salesmen. For, I just wondered if yeah. blower manufacturers no. are down here. Yeah, that's great. So, okay, very good. Okay, so this is the motor from the old blower. Yeah. And there's what remains of the old blower. Not even a proper burial. It will. It's one of the scrapyards. Yeah, and these ones, we were probably going through the belts every four months. Uh huh. They were just shredding, coming apart. I think one of the problems was it was getting so hot in there. It was unbelievable hot in there. And they were just disintegrating. Wow. No kidding. And I like how the new ones, you just jack it up and put the belts oh, on. And take that, yeah, they showed us Have that. you had to change belts no, on it yet? No, we haven't had to do okay. nothing yet. These are the outdoor inlets for the blowers. with Solbergs and there's not a filter element inside it the only element is actually a stainless steel mesh when it comes to replacing the filter it's really just a uh, just a matter of hosing it down you can see underneath here that we're really not expecting it to do any filtration it's more of a silencer than anything else the intakes for the Aeration blowers are up on the roof. You can see the tops of them. They weren't going to uh, put those new blowers over there. They were going to put the BB blowers in there. So I looked up on OSHA's website, the sound, and uh, handed that to the village board and uh, engineers at our meeting, pre-construction oh. meeting. And they didn't like that. So I, uh, I, uh, they changed their mind quick Real after quick. that because okay. it was going to be too loud in there. And they they were uh, trying to figure out soundproofing and everything. And I said, whatever, if it doesn't work, I'm calling OSHA. And uh, they didn't. <laughs> you have to do what you have to do sometimes. They yeah. had the extra money to do it. So they were going to take the, the blowers that were in the digester room, the ones that were replaced by the Arisons, or, or the two original ones, and put them over in the aeration building. Yep. And because they're so loud, you came up with this OSHA regulation and convinced them otherwise. Yep. That's great. A little information gives you religion after a while. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I, would, I didn't want to work in there and listen to them things all day long. I don't blame you. 